Good morning. Just trying to get you in the right place. I think that's about right. How are we all? Well, it's Thursday. This week has gone so quick. Got Luna here. Oh, just made a coffee. I've just been up to Tesco's. I had to get some travel sickness pills and you can only buy them over the pharmacy. They're for Peter. Uh, just in case he's sick on the coach or the coach makes him feel sick. I've got wristbands, which I always wear when traveling for any distance. <clears throat> Otherwise, yeah, I, d I can be travel sick. Ow. <sighs> Stuck my toe. Uh, I can be travel sick. I got him wristbands, but he doesn't trust that wristbands are going to work. So... I got travel sickness pills. I said, have you got any non-drowsy ones? She said, no, they all say can make you drowsy. So it's up to him if he wants to sleep on the coach, isn't it? If he, if he takes them. <laughs> oh, dear. I got up there, thought I'd be up there at half past nine. Or 20 past nine even. The shop would be fine. There was five people in front of me at the pharmacy. And it was, I stood there for about 20 minutes. Yeah, not good. And then after that, I turned around and Tesco's have got sales on, clothing sales. Yeah. I did try myself on a jacket because I needed a jacket, but they didn't have what I wanted. I looked on the rails for a full price jacket. No, nothing I wanted. So then, of course, one thing led to another, and I was in the baby section. I picked up loads of things. I put loads of things back. And then I saw something. This was full price. I had to, buy full, I had to pay full price. Look at this. Now, can you see this? It's like a pink onesie. And, and then you get, it comes with a hat, this beautiful baby grow, which has got flowers and bees on it. And it says, oh, be amazing today. I don't know what you can see. Sorry, I'm, I've got you around the wrong way. I can't see what you're seeing. And the little pair of trousers that match the hat. And that's in Tiny Baby. So I thought, Luna, I had to. I had to. That cost me £12. £12 I wasn't going to spend, but there you go. I did, and it's done. And that's it. So what am I going to put her in? This lovely sleeper or the three-piece? What do you think? That is so windy out there today. I wanted to go to Asda, but... It means a long walk, well not a long walk, but quite a walk over this car park that is not sheltered from any wind or weather and I would have got blown to pieces. So I went to Tesco's where you can drive into the underground, underneath the store, uh, into the car park and that's it. You don't get wet, you don't get windy, nothing. So, but I did want to go to Asda really. Well, never mind. <sighs> right, pumpkin, what are we going to do? hope you can see her okay. As I said, I can't see what you're seeing. So I think we might go for this four-piece. Oh, it's so funny. I was in Tesco's and this lady come up to me. Young lady, a sleeping baby on her shoulder, and she said, this is a very personal question. She said, but can you tell me the size of this, please? And it was her bra she was wearing. <laughs> so I had to go under her clothes and find out what size bra she was wearing so she could go and buy another one. <laughs> I suspect she looked around and thought, yeah, she looks safe. <laughs> 
Uh oh. It's hard when you've got children and you've got one asleep on your shoulder and you don't. I've done that, thinking what size am I wearing and sort of diving underneath trying to find sizes in your clothes. This top looks small, but you're only little, aren't you? You're only little. Hope it fits. That's the thing. If you, you know, after tiny baby clothes, Tesco's are smaller than everybody else. They do come up quite tiny. Where I find Morrison's, oh, they're tiny, it's big. And, um, yeah, Asda, they're bigger. But look at this, this fits lovely. Absolutely gorgeous. Mwah. If I can get it on. There we go. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> they put so many plastic things on these, don't they? They're the bane of my life, these things. There's loads of them. I'll be finding them on the floor for days. <clears throat> <coughs> oh dear, oh dear. Sip of coffee. Oh, that's nice. <sighs> they go on and on. There's two there. Two. One, two. Do you know, it's really bad because if you had a silicone doll, I know these are for babies, but even so, if you miss one, they would dig into a baby's skin, wouldn't they? If you had a silicone doll, you could do some damage if you don't find them all. I think we're safe now. I think we're safe. I haven't got you any socks. Oh. Oh dear, I knew it was too good to be true. I did. This is lovely because it's pink. It's very faint pink on the trousers that it matches up with. I think I'll have to put her Sarah Louise booties back on. I thought she had some little socks on, but no. Are we on? I think so. I think so. Where's your hat? Give your hair a little brush. You're not bending very well. Oh, let's pull them up a bit. There we go, pop it. There we go. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> oh, what a treasure. What's those little booties gone? Oh, Suzanne, congratulations on your new box opening. That was a surprise yesterday to see your live box opening. So if anyone hasn't seen Suzanne's, from Suzanne Baby's box opening, go along and have a look. Um, she's got a lovely new baby. So I won't spoil the surprise by saying who it is. 
or you know size or anything you go and have a look yourself because she's it is a boy i tell you it's a boy and he's absolutely gorgeous it was funny because i did see his cell post that alexandra put up and uh, I, he is so lifelike he is absolutely beautiful and that's that me a little fat tummy here is done see her vest <laughs> you uh i think i need to rearrange i should have redone your body shouldn't i so uh so did tied it up a bit tighter i think it's, you're okay it hasn't moved too much there we go here we go and your little vest covers her neck up anyway right i hope you have a lovely time whatever you're doing have a gorgeous weekend i won't be back now um as i say you know we're going on our trip tomorrow just for a day trip which i am really looking forward to peter isn't but i am um and I've been looking at others, but we we'll get this one over and done with first, see how we get on, because we might decide we don't like coach journeys. And yeah, you don't know, do you? You do not know. Um, so I won't book any more yet. Maybe if we like this one, we next year we book a few in at the beginning of the year, but because they only do a few. They don't do loads. They don't do loads. They're only a few every so often. Um, but there you go. There you go, Petal. There you go. Ruby's coming in. And uh, I thought I wouldn't sit on the floor today. So that, But yeah, I think you enjoyed seeing Ruby the other day. She's a little mood. You know, she wouldn't leave me alone that day because she decided she didn't want her food. After I finished filming, I was uploading the video and I opened her a tin of tuna. So she gulped that down and then went out and left me alone for the rest of the day. She didn't want, told you it was cupboard love. She didn't want me at all. <laughs> right. Yeah. You've still got your breakfast there. I bought a new food. Yeah. Yesterday we went shopping, bought a new food, new biscuits. Yeah, hello, come and found me. So yesterday I put the new biscuits down and she wouldn't stop eating them. Today, no, she looked at them and that's it. The new food she ate yesterday and she don't want it today. Fussy monkey. Nothing wrong with it. I think you're going to have to go hungry today and then you'll eat, won't you? She's gone behind the, we've got a curtain at the front door. Still gets, well, it's starting to get cold again now. We haven't had any sun. Thunder's through the horn out the cat flap. Yeah, we haven't had any summer. And uh, the, one of my friends on Facebook says she's got the heating back on today. Anyway, so I've left the curtain up at the door, which we close off at night because it's we've got a glass front door and it stops a lot of the cold coming in. And uh, one of our favourite things now, she hides behind it and then tries to grab my leg as I walk past. Oh, she's a little devil. She doesn't have any claws out. She just grabs your leg like that. And anyway, there she is. <laughs> I'm going to go and I will see you soon next week I will see you next week bye bye take care